Jefferson could not grab it. So Mike Brable and Arthur Smith meet for the regular season in the first time, and it's Brable. With Des, you know, needed to get checked out, and then so that's you know why Taylor's here, and so Taylor got in there and got going, and as he as it came went on, I mean, felt that was the best thing right then, just the way that it gone, and we're always going to be cautious and I'll be conservative. The impact of Grady Jarrett going down, and with the ACL injury, he will be out for the remainder of the season. One of the hardest circumstances to have in the game, you know, but uh, it's 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 up to all of us now to you know take our game to the next level. And they'd like to defer their choice to the second half. Atlanta will receive the ball on this end of the field. Good luck, gentlemen. Paul wants to run with it. He will not get in. Josh Dobbs is up throwing. The reality of it is, Arch, it's a crash course here. Now he's in trouble. He'll get to the left. Yeah, but Katie oh, hit him. Ball's loose. Lorenzo Carter tackled it to two on the fumble return. Wants to throw the end zone. Does. Madison, touchdown, Minnesota. And the Vikings hand the Falcons a 31-28 loss. Falcons have lost the last three or four games, and the biggest question today is will they be able to right the ship? Now, here's the change. Kyler Murray is expected to be back this week. Defensively, you're talking about being able to rush this quarterback in a disciplined way. Flush to his right, being pursued by Dupree, and Atlanta gets a three and out to start the ball game defensively. They're going to hand the ball to Robinson. Bajan going to skip it near side. He'll score standing. Touchdown, Atlanta. This is a game where I think you got to force the issue with Murray. You got to collapse that pocket on the inside. You got to make him kind of think faster than he wants to. And a deep shot, perhaps, middle of the field. He threw it away. It's intercepted by Nate Landman. They're going to hand the ball to Connor. No, Murray's going to keep it and score. He faked it, read option, score. Victory formation. Murray's going to take a knee. They'll run the clock down and try for the field goal. The final play of the game, Matt Prater. Wins it for Arizona, 25-23. Obviously, you take a step back. Here we are, um, not where we want to be, but somehow, some way, we're not out of it. We get word over the weekend that Coach Arthur Smith is going back to Desmond Ritter. He will start the rest of the way. He's going to start against the Saints on Sunday. <laughs> just feel it anyway. I'm kind of like last year too, coming off the bye, facing the Saints. No, completely different. Yeah. Um, you know, we we got to play our brand of football. Um, you know, consistently we haven't been doing that. Um, when we play our brand of football, um, we usually get the results that we want. You know, I think that we are a very physical team, um, very well um, conditioned and very physical team having a blue collar mentality about the game and uh, we kind of pride ourselves on that and you know being a blue collar team and we feel that's you know our, one of our advantages of, of winning games but obviously we have to do better on some of the more explosive plays mm -hmm. we have to tackle better yeah the practical reality is regardless of what the call is we talk about fundamentals things that as the season goes on it wears down like go sometimes back to the basics you have to be honest you have to be real honest and raw about you know, what hasn't gone well, what has gone well for us. Um, and then you go from there. I think that there's a lot of account accountability um, within each other as players, and coaches, um, just making sure we're, like I said, we're all on the same page and teams that aren't so connected. You see those teams after a bye week, they go down. Um, and I think the, the ph philosophy and the, and the talks have been um, just stay connected, continue to do what we've done uh, throughout these first 10 weeks. and. Uh, learn from the mistakes, like I said, and continue to get better. Everything is there in front of you. You beat New Orleans, and you're sitting there right at the top of the division as you head towards December, yeah. and you'll have be 3-0 and in the division. This thing isn't over yet, but they've got to turn it around. They've got to st score more touchdowns. They've got to get in the end zone. They've got to stop giving up explosive plays. You know, regardless of what happens, let's just make sure that we put it all into this game because, you know, if we do that, you know, we'll be all right.
Well, we welcome you to Mercedes-Benz Stadium. First of two meetings in this regular season between the Falcons and Saints here in the NFC South. The two cities pitted against each other. You know what I mean? The energy in the stadium was always different. So even when things were on the line, it, it was just, you could tell how passionate the fans were about it. They, they, they have all these slogans that they say, um, you know, one against the other. And it's like almost just like a city versus city, you know, energy that comes to the game. I mean, it's, hell, it's the Saints. Also, it's for the division lead, you know what I mean? So it's a lot of different components going to this one. This is what a true rivalry matchup is. You look at it competitively, and it has been almost right down the middle. They're solid, they're salty, and they, they like beating Atlanta. I'm very excited to be a part of it now. Um, I know um, how much it means, not just, you know, to the city, um, but I'm sure Mr. Blank, uh, he circles this one on his calendar as well. How do you feel about the Saints? A lot going on, a lot going on around the game, uh, which will be cool. And you want to be a part of big games that matter. I and mean, this is right now, right? It's like this is our next game. It is. It's the biggest game of our season so far. Not a Saints fan at all. Never been. I have a total disdain for them. It's important to us. So, you know, we got to go out there and um, play our best ball. On paper, it doesn't matter. But even still, I think the Falcons match up well with the Saints. Such a heated rivalry, but a very closely contested rivalry. Hey, four quarters of f***ing war! Four quarters of hell, man! Let's go! Hey, race down and if it's only one game the Falcons win in the season, this would probably be the most important one. Falcons are in the red hats. Black jerseys, white pants. New Orleans is wearing their throwbacks as well. Both teams had the bye week last week. It's all out in front of both teams. Am I crazy, but does this feel like a playoff fight? Absolutely. He was called for the toss. Atlanta won the toss and was deferred. And the Saints will receive. He's safely! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! So New Orleans with Derek Carr, with Alvin Kamara in the backfield with Carr. Alvin Kamara, number 41. Uh, he's uh, been a very good player in the league for a long time. and. He's just, I'm pretty sure every time he touches the field, he does something special at least once. Kamara tries to get to the right side and will not get back to the line of scrimmage. And there's your guy, Caden Ellis. I've seen him make a lot of people uh, miss on easy tackles like that. But uh, to come out, you know, swinging right there with the energy that was in the stadium, um, yeah, that, that was special. That was awesome. Car dropping back, tries to get it to Olave, and Bates will drag him down right at the line of scrimmage. And Atlanta posts a three and out right from the jump here today. You know, basically allowed us to start with the first possession in the first half and then get it again in the second half. That's kind of what it did for us. Um, you know, being able to go out and get a quick three and out uh, just lets you, uh, you know, switch the momentum right off the jump. And here is Desmond Ritter now making his ninth start this year. Here's Ritter looking to throw a quick shot, threw it behind London, and it deflected off a of Debo. Incomplete, so Atlanta returns the three and out favor to New Orleans. And downfield, Olave, a terrific catch. And now Bates will have to try and get him, can't. And finally, it is Atlanta making the tackle with DeMarco Hellams. Here's the give to Kamara. Ellis has got a gear today we haven't seen. Rips it in zone, incomplete. So now third and goal, they're going to throw. Carr looking right, set it up, it's incomplete. Snap spot from 25, and the kick is good. Play fake by Ritter. Steps up in the pocket, spins it down field, and London lays out back at the 38-yard line of New Orleans. Here's Ritter. He'll keep it to the right side and be stopped. New Orleans gets the stop on Desmond Ritter's keeper. I think they were up 3-0 at that time, and they were driving again. Wants to throw down the field, caught Jawan Johnson. The tight end out of Oregon hauls it down in Atlanta territory. Running here to his right, going to tee up hill down the field, and he caught it. Unbelievable. So it was about to be 6-0 to zero or 10-0, to zero, um, as, you know, unless there was a takeaway or a missed field goal, something like that. Rashid in motion. Here's Carr now, wants to throw. Intercepted Jesse Bates. He's got green grass, 40, 50. 40, 30, 
20, stride it out, Jesse. Touchdown, Atlanta. He throws the ball, and I look, and there's just a blur going by. And I thought he was going to fall. And Jesse found a way to stay on his feet. And New Orleans commits their first red zone turnover of the year. It was a big time play for us. Huge, at least a 10 point swing for us. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> Carl, a straight drop. Throws incomplete. Trying to go back across the middle to Bowden. Atlanta had it well defended. On the year, he is four for six from 50 or more, and this is good. Desmond to throw inside London to catch out to the 40 and a first down. Man. Drake London gets up, and Elante Taylor's getting for a long day if he's going to try and do that. Here's Ritter from the pocket, now dances out, has room. 15-45 and slides first down near the New Orleans 41-yard line. Takes the snap, pressure coming. Dez throws, caught, Pitts on a rope at the 30 and a first down. Here's Ritter handing to Robinson. Bajan at the five, bounces, end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. They may have had enough guys, but they didn't have enough quickness. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Well, this is Alave making the catch, and he will dive past midfield and have the first down. Here's Carr. Now to the right, going to put it up for grabs, and Ellis went to defend and jumped him. And this is good, but it was probably a little closer than he would have liked. Saints learning about a different dude at quarterback now. Spread the field and give it to 84, and the human hammer picks up the first down on an 11-yard run. Look how fired up Cordell Patterson is. I don't know that I've seen, I've seen him that fired up since he's been a Falcon. Patterson in motion, he'll hand it to CP. He'll round to the near side. 15 and delivered to blow again. And Cordero is looking at Elante Taylor like you might want to go back to the medical tent. Snap to Ritter. Dez looks, throws, intercepted. Tyron Matthew. Looked like he was trying to throw it to Robinson and threw it right by him. We got flags down. Now we got all sorts of scuffle going on the stands were crazy and the fans and the atmosphere was amazing and i think it just adds to it and so you're out there on the field and obviously you go hard every single game but sometimes there's a few that just bring a little extra out of you and that was one of them and as you might imagine falcons and saints are playing another tight one to start this second half they're gonna hand the ball to robinson going that way bichon tries to turn the corner does but Robinson loses his feet at the 45. Saints bringing pressure, Ritter from the pocket. Desmond cuts it loose, it got deflected, and it's incomplete. Now come back here across the middle, pumps, wants to run with it. Bombos the ball, but it rolled right to A.T. Perry. With time, wants to take the deep shot for Olave. A.J. Terrell there. Olave made the catch, but he was out of bounds. Car straight drop, looks side, Deva KT. There he is. Ruby for another field goal. This will be his fourth of the day. Kick away, and it is just inside the left upright. Play fake to Algier. Desmond sets, rips it, intercepted Matthew. Second one of the day in front of the New Orleans bench, and he's tackled at the 47-yard line on the return. A lot of stuff can happen in the open field. You can get a lot of yards as an offense, but if you get down there and 80 yards, 70 yard drives turn into three points or zero points. That, that hurts, that stings, that's such a momentum shifter. Here's Hill, clear the box, Taysom Hill will keep it at the 10, and fumbled the ball. They scramble for it at the five, and Atlanta has recovered. Final 15 at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Falcons 14, Saints 12, each club's turned it over twice. That's why, you know, yeah, sometimes the ball goes in the wrong hands, it is what it is, but you're out there slinging it, you're confident, you're running the ball aggressively, you're out running people all over the field, and you've got a cannon as an arm, you know what I mean? And he's just confident out there when he's playing, and um, having that as your quarterback uh, always gives you confidence. Yet again, Algiers, 
Algier. Right side hits the cutback and shoots out to the 22. Play fake by Ritter. He wants to shoot it down the field. There's London at the 40 first down. Squeezed it right between Demario Davis and Paulson Adebo. Ritter wants the field, throws this side to London. Stops, starts, breaks away, 40, 35, 30, and dead. And Drake London taken out of bounds at the 27. Play fake by Ritter, blitz coming. He's gonna lob it for Robinson, who makes the catch. Touchdown Atlanta, holy smokes. They blitz Werner, the linebacker, and all of a sudden, Desmond just looped that Jesse up in the air to Bajon Robinson. Big snap spot, kick is away, and it is good. Just inside the right upright. Gonna hand Algier right side. Tyler hit the cutback, first down and more. McCullough to snap, pick it to hold. Kick is away from Young Way Koo, and it is perfect. Straight drop, loops downfield, and incomplete, looking for both. Kick is away by Groupie, better hurry, and it didn't make it. It was short for 54. And there's a touch of the knee. Dennis Allen will not burn the timeout, and Atlanta will win. And that will be that. So we got plenty of stuff to work on, as always, but overall, good team win. Gotta keep, just gotta keep winning. Just gotta stack wins. Uh, I don't think we've done that since week one and two, and it's time to do that right now between week 11 and 12. So uh, start stacking some wins. Uh, go out there and keep handling our division because each one of those counts as a game and a half or two games is how you want to look at it. And uh, just keep going.